All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm out here uh, working on this big old house here. Um, I don't know what time it is. Let's see. I actually can't really check. But anyway, um, so I've been working on this thing for the last couple of days, trying to figure out how to to get it stable underneath, jacked up, and everything uh, the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I finally got to the point where um, I'm starting to make some progress so I cut a couple trees down last year this time so just uh, almost exactly a year ago and uh, the, these are cedars or two of them are uh, from a cedar tree uh, these logs are 12 foot long so I've been using those so that I could uh, have what I needed and uh, been using them as posts to uh, to jack up the house and then uh, started doing some other uh, stuff to it so this thing's pretty complicated I had to drill uh, cut out a hole here in the, in the floor subfloor so I can get these uh, these trees down in there and then I've been uh, yeah so you can see they're on the post so anyway um, I guess I could show you where I, how I started out I cut this piece out here and then uh, of flooring and then I put this this uh, first tree in this isn't cedar it's uh, different I, I don't know what kind of tree it is but um uh, I had to cut out this like little piece of uh this chunk of wood there to fill in the gap between the top of the beam here and uh, the footing of the floor up above and um, so that when the beam raised up it would actually uh, uh, make direct contact between here and there before it wasn't uh, doing that it was just wanting to rip rip through and um, it wasn't pushing directly above it where the other beams are so there's a beam here or a post sorry there's a post here that is pretty beefy that this beam is barely sitting on. Well, yeah. So anyway, um, but uh, up above this this beam, there is no. There's another post above the the floor subfloor there, um, in the same location as this one. Um, but there was nothing above the the beam here, right in this this little hole to push up on that uh, post above there so that was kind of a problem because at first I tried to uh, just jack up on the on the side here and and it just, uh, just ripped it apart you can see the, the crack down there it just ripped the wall the wall ripped out that way it just broke away and that's why I have this uh, this come along on there holding the wall together right now but the uh, yeah, the main thing is to support the weight of the house on these beams, and not through not through the wall studs. So that's what I'm working on trying to do. And so that when I jack up, when I jack it up in the middle here, it jacks up and transfers the uh, the force through all all through the. The posts of all three floors so all the way from the ground up so as you can see I got these other posts here doing the same thing so what I'm doing down below the house I'll show you here in a second I wasn't sure exactly how to go about this but I'm feeling pretty a lot better about it now so what I have is uh but it, this is what it looked like when I got here. Um, Dad left left off at this spot where there is this uh, this this um, beam here, but it, it was positioned all like sideways and stuff off cockeyed and not like parallel with the the center of the the house. So. 
So yeah, I'm trying to, uh, so what I'm doing right now is, um, I put this, uh, six by six or whatever it was in here, this, this beam post and, um, I'm using it to, to support the floor joists here and pull the weight off of, off of this guy so I can, uh, so I can move this into position. Because over the years, the uh, the floor joist broke away from from the header or whatever it is over there on the exterior of the house, and then they sagged. And when that happened, it put put pressure right up above this this post and sandwiched it in between the floor joist there and this uh, glue lamb beam that's uh, going across the the house here. And then, uh, so originally this was just kind of sitting here all loose, but, uh, with time it, it got sandwiched in there and there's no way I could, uh, budge it. Um, even with, if I got the uh, tractor or winch on it, it would have, uh, tore the floor joists apart if I moved it, tried to force it. So now that I got this on there, that's what I've been working on right now. So I got all this cribbing bottle jack. I is, uh, I'm uh, jacking up, jacking up this post here, or this beam across the center of the floor joist, and um, taking the weight off of this guy. And I got almost, I got a, got it to the point where I could kind of wiggle it, but there was still too much pressure right here between this glue lamp beam and and the floor joist. So what I did is threw my bottle jack under the other side of this the glue lamb beam here and uh, jacked it up and then took some blocking out of there below the glue lamb beam and I lowered this glue lamb beam down and now I have a uh, have a uh, a lot of play here I can manipulate this this big post with one hand now it's balanced on this uh, glue lamb so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spin this over so I can do it with one hand now. And um, I'm going to spin it over to the center here. And then uh, I'm going to pull it back this way to the, to the front of the house, front face of the house here. So I think what I'm going to do is take these, uh, these tree posts out of here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move this uh, this big old beam right up underneath to the very last uh, floor joist, whatever you call it, out here. And then um, what I'll do is I'll I'll cut through here, and then I'll, I'll put a chunk of wood in there so that when I and then I'll start um, jacking up the end of this uh, this beam here, which will be positioned right here. Um, I'll jack up the end of it on this concrete, big old concrete footing here. I'll jack it up, jack it up right here, and that'll, uh, that'll push all the way up to the top, the, the pressure on, uh, all these beams above it. So, that way it, uh, supports the, the entire house as I jack up right, right in the center here. It'll jack the whole thing up and the floor joists on this this f first floor here. So I think that's going to be a better deal. It looks like that's what my dad was originally trying to do with this thing, but he just stopped right at this point and walked away and walked away long enough that things got squished and then uh, and complicated to where you couldn't move this around and get it in position anymore so that's where i'm at with it now so i'm pretty happy about it i've been looking at this thing for like the last eight nine years trying to figure out what i'm going to do with it and and uh, i'm finally making progress so so yeah pretty happy about everything and um so yeah anyway um i'll continue tomorrow it's getting late, um, and, uh, yeah.
So I'll just keep uh, plugging away at this thing and once everything's in position where I can just focus on jacking it jacking it up in the middle, then it'll it should go fairly fairly quick at that point. But um it's kind of fixing all this this weird stuff that um needs done, you know, to get it to that point. Um uh, first so anyway that's it for now um just pretty excited about this wanted to share it with you guys so